Hey guys, welcome back to My Colourful Country Life. I mentioned in some earlier videos this year that I have been wanting to learn how to watercolour more and not just use my watercolours for plain backgrounds like I currently am, but to be able to actually create something like perhaps a forest scene, um, just to add different elements to my colouring pages, more specifically to the background, but instead of just doing like a plain colour for the background, um, adding in leaves or trees, that sort of stuff. So I'm not there yet. I'm nowhere near there yet, <laughs> but what I want to do today is play around with the new floral watercolour set from Paul Rubens that they have sent me out to try uh, by working in my watercolour with me in the forest book from Dana Fox. Now, first I want to have a look at this set and the colours before we pick out a page or some pages to test them on. Now, this palette is specifically geared towards florals. It is a reworked version of the original set. Um, it does feature 17 new colours alongside seven repeating ones. While I don't own the original set, Paul Rubens has provided me with a colour chart, which I'll display on the screen on the left here, next to a swatch of this set on the right so that you can see the difference. Now, I don't have the original set to do an in-depth comparison, but you should be able to see the colour differences up on the screen. I do have their Yulan set of 24 watercolours, which is artist grade, as is this one. So I may have a look at that one after we swatch everything out and see if we have a decent difference in colours. So the sets complement each other. Um, okay, so I'm dying to see what is inside. I have a feeling these colours are going to be right up my alley. Uh, they've also sent me out a set of paint brushes, which I'll try out today too. They're very similar to the brushes they sent out for New Year's at the beginning of the year, except with the um, Paul Rubens branding on here instead. And you get four sizes, which is the zero, the two, the four, and the six. Actually, I have one of the other ones they sent me over here. Now, this one is, so this one says Phoenix, and it's the size two. It's actually held its point quite well, considering I am a smoosher. <laughs> I do um, smush on my page. So I used this one for a watercolour background recently, which is why it's still out. But you can see the back, the point has held um, not too bad. So let's open up our box. I'll move these out of the way a little bit. Okay, so the Paul Rubens packaging always feels so luxurious and fancy. We have our cloth and the Paul Rubens signature pink palette here. We have our finger holder on the back. Now there are 24 colors in this palette. And this opens up here for some more space. We've got our swatch card and our information brochure as well here with all different colors swatched out on it. Now, the paints are individually wrapped and they do have the colour name on the bottom of the wrapper in English, which I'll just lift it up so you can see it there. It isn't in English anywhere else. They do have it written in Chinese on the swatch card. Um, but what I'm going to do is, as I unwrap, I'll write the names on the card so I don't get confused. And, yep, so we're going along there. And then this one goes down that side. Okay, so before I unwrap these, I'll just show you that this lifts out to give a little bit more space here for mixing your colours. And each one of these just pops out like that and pops back in. So what I'm going to do is unwrap these all now. I may as well leave it out while I unwrap it and write all the colour names on my swatch card at the same time.
Okay, so here are all our colors unwrapped. I'm really loving these bright colors here. Um, I don't know how many greens we have. I didn't really take notice of the color names as I was unwrapping them. We've got permanent green, emerald green, hooker's green, olive green, I think. Okay, so interesting to see what they look like when they're swatched out. So what I will do is zoom you back in. There we go. Um... And I'm just going to activate them with my little um, sprayer here. And I'll pop it back in the tin. And I've already got my water cups ready. One for dirty water and another one for clean water. And I'm going to be using the number two brush that they've sent me out today. So being left-handed, I'm going to start from um, this side and I'll work my way across. Um, am I going to go up and down? I think I will. So we'll start with the burned brown here. Okay, so we have a really cool selection of colors here. We've got um, four yellows, a red, an orange, a couple of pinks, a bunch of blues, four greens, and some earth tones as well. Now, the peach light and the permanent lemon yellow, they were a pleasant surprise. They look almost fluorescent in tone. They are so vibrant and so bright. Really pretty. Um, it's a beautiful hot pink there. They... The Indian yellow, I was expecting more of an ochre tone where it's almost more of a yellow orange. Uh, still a great addition to the set, but I was thinking of more of an ochre color, which I mean, we've got the nickel yellow here, but I would have liked a nice yellow ochre, which I don't think the nickel yellow quite hits the spot for me. But beautiful selection of colors. Now, let's see if we can find a page in our book, our watercolor with me book, and we'll test them out. Okay, so 
what I'm thinking is the flowers so this is wet on dry technique it is page 23 in the book it says here there are many different types of flowers and many techniques to paint them but perhaps the easiest method is wet on dry we love easy this allows you to control your paint and where you place it and it also makes adding outlines easy we have our color list our supplies and our instructions so for colors we need yellow ochre rose indian red and hooker's dark green where is our color swatch chart okay so yellow oak we don't have any of these colors really yellow ochre what i'm going to do is mix the yellow sienna deep with a little bit of the nickel yellow i think yeah i think if i add a little bit of nickel yellow to yellow sienna deep i'll get a similar sort of color the rose what color am i looking for Oh, I might use the rose red. And for Indian red. Uh, I think I'm going to use a Chinese red. It is a very different color. But we don't have to be exact. Hooker's dark green. I'll use the Hooker's Green Brilliant, I think, although the Emerald Green Light looks like it could be a better match. I think, okay, so I'm just going to make up my own color, <laughs> my own colors. We'll make a mix of these two to get closer to the yellow ochre. I'm just going to use the Rose Red in replace of the Rose. I'm going to use Chinese Red in replace of the Indian Red, so my colors are going to look quite different, I think, to the picture we have here. And for Hooker's Dark Green, I'm going to use Hooker's Green Brilliant. Now, I was going to compare the colours in this set to the colours in my Yulan set, which got right here. Okay, so you can see here we have a lot more reds in this set. A lot of reds, reds, blues, greens and earth tones, where this has got a lot of more pinks and purples in it. Yeah, we've got a nice range of pinks here and the purples, the lavender light, the permanent violet, where this is more your um, primary colours, your reds, blues, yellows. Um, and we have a lot of earth tones here as well. We have quite a bit of earth tones in this set too. But these seem a lot brighter and fresher. Okay, so I am going to make it up as I go and let's see if this works for me. Supplies, round pointed brush size 6 works well. Now that is the largest size brush that I was given in the Paul Rubin set and the four colors of paint so this feels like a really big brush but I will do as I'm told for a change <laughs> Um, instruction number one, start by painting the petals individually using mixtures of yellow ochre, rose and Indian red. A little yellow ochre added to the Indian red is going to produce an orange shade where rose mixed with Indian red will tone down the pink hue a little as well. Experiment with different mixtures of colours to find ones you love. Okay, so let's do this. Um, what's the next step? After a few minutes, once dry, paint the centres of each flower using yellow ochre. Fill in the leaves with a mix of hooker's dark green and yellow ochre. Okay, so we need to mix our um, petal colours. So we've got three sort of different shades here. So let's mix this up. Um, so I'm just going to move this over here. For our yellow ochre, this is a really big brush. We're going to be using, what is this, Yellow Sienna Deep. And I'm going to add just a touch of this nickel yellow. It's very vibrant, that nickel yellow, isn't it? It's really bright. Okay, rose. We've got our rose, which is... Uh, this one. It's our rose red. So ours are going to be, I think, a bit more red than pink. Um, Indian red, I don't have. I'm going to use the Chinese red, which is this one here. That is a, really the only true red we've got. It's very red, isn't it? Okay. So now we're going to make a mix of these. What I'm going to do 
is um it says yellow ochre to indian red is going to produce an orange shade so let's do this Okay, add a bit more of this colour in. A bit more red. Um, and then these two. And I'm going to do maybe a bit more of this color in with that color. So that is what am I using? Nickel yellow and a Chinese red. And I'm going to add a little bit. Oh, that's not the right color, Karen. This one. Is that the right one? Yeah, rose red. Okay, so they're slightly different. Um, so I'm going to paint all these petals. I don't know if I've got good control of this big brush. Hmm, let's try it.
Okay, I added a little bit too much water there for a minute, um, but what we're going to do is just let these um, petals dry a little bit before we start filling in the centre and doing the leaves. Um, I do like the colours though, I think we did a really good gradient there, but let's see if it dries. I did use a little bit too much water and we have gone through, got some bleed through there, but um, it gives it a nice texture I guess. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Okay, so these two aren't completely dry, but I think they're dry enough now that I can go in and start um, with the centre with my yellow ochre. So again, I'm mixing the yellow sienna deep and the nickel yellow, just a touch of the nickel yellow. And I'm mixing them together over here to use as our centres. Alright, next step, it says to fill in the leaves with a mix of Hawker's Dark Green and Yellow Ochre. So I'm going to be using that um, Yellow Sienna Deep and Nickel Yellow mix and adding some Hawker's Green Brilliant into that. Now, which one is Hawker's Green Brilliant? It is this one here. So add that to the mix. Um, a little bit more. Oh. Okay. Alright, so our next step says, with a shade darker than your petals, paint outlines around each petal. Add broken lines to the inside of each one. Add dots to the centres of the flowers as well. Now, it doesn't, have, um, it doesn't add any other size brushes other than the size 6, but I am going to use a smaller one. So this is the 0, so I can do the lines nice and fine, hopefully. Um, and I'm just going to mix up some more of these colors together which is i think i'm going to mix the carmine wasn't carmine was it chinese red and rose red together first and i think i might use the same color around all the petals on all the flowers
Okay, so step number four says use a darker shade of the leaf color to add line detailing to the leaves. And then step five is finish by adding more dots or details to the petals as you see fit. So um, our hook is dark green. Now I mix that with some yellow, um, not yellow, ochre. I mix that with the uh, nickel yellow and the yellow sienna deep. So I'll make less of a mix this time. Okay, so I think it's quite clear that I am no artist, um, but I think I did quite a good job um, matching to the example that they've given here, especially when I'm using different colours. I think it worked out all right. Like I said, I am still learning. I am no artist, um, but the colours worked really well. They were beautiful colours, mixed really well as well. The brushes hold water really well, um, hence why I ended up with a little bit too much water on my page there for a minute. I will put the links down below for this set. Um, now for my friends in Australia, it isn't available in Australia just yet, but it is available on AliExpress. Um, so you can purchase it there and I will put the links down in the description as well. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for joining me today as we played with our watercolors. I hope you have a wonderful day. Happy coloring and bye for now.